is a story that would shock Republicans and Democrats across the nation. Is there a secret plan underway to oust Speaker of the House John Boehner from his speakership? Could this really happen? We investigate the rumors in tonight's reality check. We've been telling you for months that there is a war inside the Republican Party. A war that on one side has establishment Republicans, and on the other, the Tea Party and Liberty Republicans. But tonight, there are rumors that Speaker of the House John Boehner could be the next casualty of that war. On January 3rd, members of Congress will vote to select the next Speaker of the House, and it may not be Ohio Congressman and current Speaker Boehner. Tonight, we look at two questions. Why would Boehner be out? And secondly, how? Let's start with why. As we've been telling you, Boehner has been in a war with conservative and liberty Republicans really since August at the Republican National Convention when he read a teleprompter scripted vote for a controversial rule change. We then told you a few weeks ago that Boehner removed four of the most conservative congressmen from budget and finance committees. Congressman Justin Amash, who is one of those congressmen, said, quote, only in Washington is someone removed from a budget committee for wanting to balance the budget. End quote. And then last week, Boehner's compromise with President Obama on the fiscal cliff, something that he called Plan B, couldn't get enough votes to get out of the House. Suffice to say, Speaker Boehner is not considered a voice representing conservatives in the House. So that is the why. Now the how. According to documents that have been leaked to Breitbart News, Townhall.com, and others, congressional staffers are working on a plan to remove Boehner. But it would take a couple of different steps. The first is to reestablish the election of the Speaker of the House by secret ballot rather than by a public roll call vote. That's because Republican members of the House fear retaliation if Boehner keeps his speakership. Now, to establish a secret ballot election for Speaker of the House, one Republican member will need to step forward and introduce a resolution on the House floor on the morning of January 3rd, 2013, before any other business takes place. Those close to this plan are convinced that a member will step forward and introduce this resolution. If the secret ballot is allowed, step two would be to hold a series of elections throughout the day to elect a new speaker. Again, according to Breitbart, this is a leaderless movement, so there's no telling who that person could be. But if you're worried that Democrats could jump in and elect Nancy Pelosi or someone else to the speakership while the Republicans are divided, well, it doesn't work that way. That's because to become speaker, you don't win by having a plurality. One must win an absolute majority of all the votes cast for an individual. There are 201 Democrats in the House. So even if all 201 Democrats vote Pelosi, Boehner gets one vote, and the remaining 233 Republicans each vote for a different individual, Pelosi still doesn't win. She would have to have at least 218 votes to reach a majority of the 435 votes cast for an individual. But what this means for you is that while this is pretty unusual for a party to oust their own speaker, it is not unheard of. In fact, it happened in the late 1990s when Republicans ousted then Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich. One other interesting point here, the Speaker of the House does not have to be a member of Congress, either past or present. The Speaker of the House can really be anyone. Now, that's never happened before. But it could be very interesting if Republicans don't have a clear choice in their ranks right now. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on this story, you can do so on my Facebook page. Just search it by looking for Ben Swan, and you can see the sources for the story posted on our website at fox19.com.